Hi and welcome to Steve's Backyard Food. Today I'm doing my very first brisket ever. And I started off with a 17 pound when I picked up at my local meat market. I've got it mostly trimmed up, ready for a dry rub. And here's my trimmings I've done so far. A lot of the trimmings I will save for sausages in the near future. But we got trimmed up, got a little bit of trimming left to do. Then I'll do my dry rub. And then I'll put it in my tote here, put it in the fridge, let it sit overnight, and get it on the smoker early in the morning. I have my dry rub on my brisket and I have it in the tub tote and it will be going in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it sit for overnight before we get it in the smoke. Okay, I'm back out here at the Louisiana Grill. Evidently my sound wasn't working on the previous segment, but I it was it's been three hours now that this has been in the smoker. The last segment I checked, it was two hours in. Uh, we had started early this morning. Uh, I put this thing in the smoker at five this morning. So we're at three hours now. It's coming along good. We're running at about 250 on the temperature. And I'm gonna give it another spritz of some apple cider vinegar like I did last time just to keep it moist on the surface. Helps keep it looking good. Bark is starting to come along really good. So I think we'll just close it up and check back in about another hour or so. See, we're at 250 there. And we're three hours in. All right, I'm back out here at the uh, Louisiana Grill Vertical Smoker. And we're almost two hours in on the uh, wrapped brisket. We're about seven hours overall. As you can see, I put some jerky in there also. We're running at 250 degrees and it's looking pretty good. I think I'll let it go for another hour or so and come back and check it. Uh, check the jerky also and then do a probe on uh, the brisket in about another hour and just see what our temperature is running. We're trying to get up to 200 to 205. Alrighty, I'm back out here at the Louisiana Grill Smoker. We're running steady at 250. As you can see there, our brisket internal is 187. So we're getting close, getting close. We're nine hours in. Well, let's open this thing up and take just a quick look, make sure everything is still okay. We have it wrapped in the paper. Everything's looking good. So we'll just close this back up real quick and let her go for a while. As you can see, I took the uh, jerky out. It was The jerky was finished, so I went ahead and took it out. It was a little hot at 250 for the jerky. So I really like to run my jerky about 190 to 200 at the highest. So I pulled that out. It's just kind of a side thing I'm doing while I was running uh, the brisket. So we'll let the brisket go another hour or so and we will check back with it and see how we're doing. All right, I'm back out here at the Louisiana Grill Vertical Smoker. I'm still running at 250. We are closing in on, what is it, 11 hours on this brisket cook. I just checked the probe, it's running at 203. So I'm gonna be shutting this down. And I'm gonna open this up. I checked the probe in and out and it just moves in just slicker and all get out no no push back or pull so i'm gonna put this on hold and get this out and wrapped up and get it resting all right i have the uh, brisket wrapped in paper still i brought it out of the smoker i will be wrapping it up in some towels to hold it and let it do its rest wrapped up in towels. I have some there and I'll put it on the tray, take it inside, set it on the counter and 
we should be able to eat some of this brisket in a couple hours. We'll check back at slicing time. All right, we have come to nearly the end of the brisket here. Uh, it's been a long day. I did have some other towels wrapped around this to keep it warm while it was resting. But I'm gonna move it over here to my board. Get the paper off of it. It's almost like Christmas here. Cutting into this brisket. Like I said, I've never done a brisket before, ever. This is my very first one. Plus, it's my on my brand new Louisiana Grill smoker. So, a lot of new things here. So, hopefully it's turned out the way we want it to. Get that out of the way. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am going to cut across about here from the point, separating the point and the flat. And that just cut through there just like butter. I don't know if you can see that, the juices are just coming out of that fat line there between the two muscle layers. It is really as good as I had hoped for. Now I'm going to cut off a couple of slices here. Take a look at it. And just see what we have. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get it up close here. Get the smoke ring in here. It's nice and juicy. Perfect. I am very pleased to have a taste here. I am very pleased with how this turned out for the very first one. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I know my barbecue queen is going to be very happy eating this. Good thing I have a couple more ready to go because we'll be eating this and everybody's going to want some of it. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wish, subscribe to my channel. We're going to continue to have more and more different backyard foods that I cook in our backyard kitchen.